Shafa was trapped on the seventh floor of a destroyed house for two months. In May, we received a message. There was a cat trapped in a house bombed by Russian forces with no access to food or water. There was almost no chance she'd survive, but we still had hope. We were at the site first thing the next day. Shafa couldn't get down by herself, so we drove up to the building on a crane. We were worried she'd jump and fall, so the rescuer put her inside his coat. She was in shock, malnourished, dehydrated. We rushed her to the vet. She looked slightly pissed off, but happy to be alive. Reporters found out about Shafa's story and it broke the news. People were amazed by her grit. And by the next day, our phone was exploding. Dozen people called, claiming to be Shafa's real owners, saying, give her to us now, immediately. And even when we told them she has to recover first, they wouldn't listen. So we blocked everyone off until she was okay. Slowly, Shafa got her weight back up. She started playing with toys again and became more and more energetic with each day. Shafa also started showing affection. It was a surprise that behind such a grumpy face, there is such a gentle kitty. Luckily, we found her real owners. When they reunited, she couldn't recognize them because of the hell she's been through. She adjusted fast. Now there is no trace of that sickly cat we took from the destroyed house. Besides that pissed off look, of course.